What's going on YouTube? This is Edben24. Um, you may know me from my WWE Raw reviews, but um, I'm starting up a new thing also, in addition to Raw. Um, I'm going to be doing an anime review um, segment. Um, this will be episode one. One. Um, yeah. So the anime I'm going to be reviewing is probably a well-known one. Probably one of the most famous current mangas and anime going on right now. Um, before I actually announce which one it is, um, I'm just gonna say when I say anime review, it's not limited to this Japanese. I'm also gonna be doing American. Um, I might incorporate other cultures also, so it's not just limited to Japanese. So I'm trying to diversify. Um, you know, do American, Japanese, and anything else I feel like doing. So yeah. First one is going to be a Japanese one, um, probably famous around the world, you've probably all seen it, at least have heard of it, um, seen commercials for video games, um, the TV show, the manga, maybe the manga, but maybe, I've seen ads in newspapers, very, very well, um, so yeah, um, the anime I'm going to be viewing today is Another Than Then, I'm going to stop wasting time, alright, it's Naruto, um, yeah, you probably all heard of Naruto. So, basically, how it, um, basically what I think of Naruto is um, it's okay. Um, it's got its faults and its bad points. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Um, I can't say it's great, great. I mean, it's certainly popular. I mean, don't get me wrong. I read the manga. I used to watch the anime, but the anime just got dull to me. It just got boring. Um, not really boring. Just like stop. I stopped watching it after it stopped. Um, after Tsunami fell down, so and I stopped airing it really on TV. So um, at the end of like Shibuya, I kind of watched it on a rare, rare occasion. So um, yeah um. The manga I definitely still read. I'm not, I definitely still read the manga. Um, um, really, the basic plot follows. Um, there's this orange, um, not orange, um, blonde, um, haired kid named Naruto. He is living in the village, hidden in the leaves. Um, I'm gonna be saying the English names because I don't, I don't really know Japanese that well. Um, yeah, um, he lives in this village called the Village Hidden Leaves, I think it's called Kono, Konohama something, um, I, that's, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce it, it's just, it's not worth it, um, yeah, so he's a ninja there, and he's lived pretty much alone for most of his life, has little to no friends, um, no real, um, no real family, most of family, uh, his family's dead. Um, pretty much your typical loser in all respects. Um, not very gifted in most things, except maybe mischief and eating. Um, that's pretty much really all you can do. Um, basically, the entire plot of Naruto basically follows, well, Naruto um, and his friends. Um, yeah, um, to be fair, basically what it covers is Naruto's ascent, um, journey to try to become Okage. This is basically most of, like, the first couple arcs, and then it gets kind of dark and depressing. Um, yeah, so, by the way, Hokage is the highest position a ninja can get in the village in the leaves, so, yeah. Um... The Naruto universe is divided into five main nations with smaller nations. Um, the five main nations are the Land of Fire, the Village Hidden in the Leaves, um, the Village of Water, which is hidden in the mist, um, the Land of Earth, hidden in the rocks, um, the Thunder Village, um, the Lightning Village, I'm sorry, um, hidden in the clouds, and the village of the wind, um, hidden in the sand, um, yeah, 
Mm, basically, the whole concept of Naruto is um, ninjas train and become trying to master jutsus and stuff. Um, plot itself at first was oh, he's kind of dull. I don't know, maybe dull is not the right word. It's just uninteresting. Then it gets kind of dark and depressing, and it's all right. It's watchable. It's readable and watchable. Then it gets then it makes a serious down spike, and then it kind of it, like it de really depends on the arc. Some arcs are really well done. Um, others are just bad. Um, a really good one that they did recently was the invasion of um, invasion of pain arc, which was really well done in my opinion. It's really well done. Plot was okay. Like fights were good. Um, scenes, the artwork was artwork's always been great, but artwork was done well. Um, really well done. Um, a really bad one they did was. Um, probably in my opinion, the worst they ever did was the the searching for Sasuke arc. Um, I, I'm sorry, the Saiyan Sasuke arc. Yeah, that's I believe that's the name. That was just kind of dull. It was kind of uninteresting to me. I mean, they it's a plot starter, but it's not really that. Like mean, a plot starter arc is okay, but it's a plot starter. It doesn't have anything within itself that's really that interesting. Um. Yeah, um, another really well done arc, in my opinion, most people on YouTube will probably say this is probably the best of the original Naruto series, um, the first arc, the, um, um, the, um, I'm sorry, the Zabuza arc, um, I believe that's the name, the Zabuza arc, or the, um, Country of Waves arc, I believe it's, it could be called either work, but I'm just gonna call it the Zabuza arc. Um, that was also a really well done arc, um, very, very serious, very well done, the artwork was great, fights were good, um, yeah, it was a really well done arc in general, um, probably one of the major flaws in Naruto is the fact that it doesn't really focus that much on Naruto, um, a lot of people are saying this, it's saying, a lot uh, plot focus is more on Sasuke than Naruto, and Sasuke is probably what you would call his biggest rival, and then worst enemy and best friend. And like a lot of people can you can call you can call him a lot of different things in Naruto. Um, yeah, it was just a really badly. Um, so Sasuke in general, I at first don't get me wrong, I really like Sasuke. He was a great character, good, um, good person to watch, um, his fights were always that good, um, his story was pretty, not only really not original, but it was done well. Then suddenly, um, in about, like, the later half of Naruto, they just, like, they just, like, forget it, they just ruined him completely. And then, um, and she booted, and then they, then they, like, they bring him up again, and then he's, like, he's, he's a really good villain in Shibutin, or I have to say, probably one of the best villains they've done, probably maybe, like, the second or third, um, yeah, he was a very good villain, um, very well done, uh, I can't complain too much, um, those of you who don't know, Naruto premiered in, the manga premiered in 1999, I believe. Yeah, I believe it's 1999. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry, but I'm almost, I'm 100% sure it's 1999. Um, I don't know what, I don't know what year the anime started up, but, um, yeah. Um, one of the main problems I have in general with, um, just the, uh, I'm gonna focus on the animation, is, um, you probably have to be, um, sometimes the animation is just inconsistent with the storyline. Sometimes it's done well, and then sometimes it's lazily done. Um, a really good example of this is, um, um, would have to be in the, um, the first arc. Um, the episode where he, uh, I believe it's called, um, 
dark paths of inundation or white paths of inundation. It was like maybe like somewhere in the 20th or 20th episode around there. Um, that animation was really well done. It was really badass. Very good. Not any, I can't say a bad thing about that episode. It had a great story, good animation, good dialogue. Great, a great fight. It was awesomely done. I give it a perfect 10 out of 10 out of an episode. And then they get to um, the Fire Temple. In my opinion, like that, the animation was the animation was like lacking in terms of that old school, well done animation. Um, it was kind of lacking, not too dark, depressing. Um, the story was really it was really kind of boring. It's pretty much like typical Mario like story where they just introduce a completely new character, give him some sappy like past. So like only like two like three or four flashbacks, um, saying like his parents died or something or, or like lived alone or some like cliche stuff like that, and then they just like they like the interviews they conveniently introduce the villain, like they fight and struggle for two or three fights. He comes out with a secret move, like defeats him and the villain does this whole like repentance rant at the end, and it's pretty much like typical Naruto like fight uh, typical Naruto. Yeah, it's basically typical Naruto. Um, they do this, and, and it'd be okay if they did it with like one or two people, but everyone they do, every character has this bad, horrible past, this unfortunate thing that happened in their life. They can't show a de a person with a decent life at all. They don't show a decent per a person with a decent life at all, really. Um, yeah. Um. I can't, I don't know what really to say about this. Um, yeah, um, I'm kind of getting close. I'm kind of getting crunched on time right now. I'm getting like a few more minutes. Um, yeah, um, I really wish I could. I'll pro. I'll maybe do a follow up video. Not really, but I'll I'll consider doing it in the near future. On this, um, yeah. So, um, I'll get more in depth on a future video. Um, on Naruto when I feel like it. Um, so, yeah, this has been Edmund24 here. Um, comment, subscribe, tell me what you think. Um, yeah.